So we're going to take these two photographs and we're going to merge them together. Now generally the problem with that is that the colors and the lighting are very, very different. But I'm going to show you a really, really simple way of being able to use the colors from the landscape photograph to make sure that we get a really nice convincing composite. So let's dive straight in. So these are the two images that we're going to start off with. We've got this nice picture of a pump house here. The sky's okay, it's pretty bland, it's a little bit dark, and I thought we could maybe chat it up a bit further. So I've got this really, really beautiful astro photograph that I think if we can actually import it um, into our, our pump house photograph and then actually blend the colors together so we can give a really nice starry night sky effect. So to begin with, what we actually need to do is cut out the sky from this pump house picture before we then overlay our, uh, our new image. So simply to do so, given the fact that the sky is pretty even, it's been shot quite well, we've got some nice clean lines to work against. Using the magic wand tool, which you'll find on the vertical toolbar, about four icons down, this may be quite useful. Now you may need to go in and actually add layer masks and start erasing um, areas out if your sky isn't as kind of clean cut as this one is. So just take a little bit of time to do that. But we're going to select the sky. We're going to go in a little bit closer, holding down the shift key. We can then add more areas to our selection just to make sure we get it as accurately and as neat looking as possible. Also then holding down the, the Alt key, you can then deselect some areas that may have been picked up by accident on the magic wand. So maybe just go in a little bit closer, just tighten it up there, take some areas away there, and it's looking pretty good as it is. So now we've got that sky area selected, which is all fine, so what we need to do is actually get rid of the sky. So to do that to begin with, the easiest way is just to unlock our layer. So as our background layer is locked at the minute, if we unlock it, it will just treat it as a very editable layer. And then if we press Control and X, it gets rid of that sky for us. So we've now got a very blank canvas behind us. There's no pixels, no details there at all, which is great. Now let's get our astro photograph, make it a bit smaller, and let's just drag it into position. So using the free transform tool, I'm actually going to make it larger and just kind of position it. Let me just reduce the, the layer opacity just so I can kind of see, make sure we've covered most of it. If we maybe get a little bit of the color in there, I think that's looking good. So let's just increase the opacity again. So what we need to do now is switch the layers around because obviously we need to be able to see our building. So grab the bottom layer, pull it up to the top. So it's kind of looking right in terms of position, but the colors need matching really. So this is where the magic happens. We're gonna to go to image, adjustments and match color. It's as simple as that. But you will need to make some more refined adjustments here. So our panel asks us uh, which source we're choosing. Now that's basically asking us which layer, uh, which documents, because it doesn't necessarily have to be layered, but in this instance it is. So it's gonna be asking us uh, which of the images we're wanting to use for the color reference. So in this instance, it's our matching color example. So straight away, you see how the effect works. Now we can change the luminance of this, the brightness of it. Given that most of the light's coming from behind the pump house with our uh, starry sky, I'm gonna reduce that a little bit further. You can play around with the color intensity. You can make those blues really ramped up or whatever color you're using. And again, we can fade the effect a little bit more if you think it's a bit OTT. But once you're happy with it, just press OK. And then Photoshop has completely rendered a really lovely composite that's using colors from the background in our astro photograph, but it's overlaid it over the top to create a really nice matching new image. There we go. So it's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep looking out for iPhotography for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>